Hello and welcome to my YouTube channel. If you're regular here, you know I review many photographic, audio and video related products. Now today, I just want to make it clear, do you really need full frame to get that really professional look if you're doing interviews or presentations to cameras and you want to create that nice uh, uh, depth between the person you're interviewing or the person that's talking to the background? And I'm utterly convinced, I've said this many times before, you don't need full frame. But this is the first time I've set up three completely different formats to prove the fact that you don't need full frame. Now, the first camera that you're looking at here is my Sony ZV-E10, and I've got the Sigma f1.4 lens fitted to that. Uh, it's the 30mm Sigma 30mm f1.4. And then over there, I've got my Sony a7C, which is a full frame camera, with the 50mm set to f1.8. In fact, I've set the ZV-E10 to about 1.8 as well, so it's a fairer comparison. And then I've got my OMD, uh, OM system OM5 with the Panasonic 25mm f1.7 lens fitted to that. Um, and that's shooting at its widest aperture. And that's about 50mm in full frame terms. So the actual field of view is very similar between all three because the 30mm on the ZV-E10 is about 50 mil in full frame terms. It's about 45, I think, actually. Um, so they're all very similar. I haven't got them bunched up really close together, but you can see there that's the ZV-E10, and that's creating a nice look with a background. It's out of focus, and it's separated me to the background. My Sony A7C, likewise, the background is nicely out of focus. But even on my uh, OM system, OM5, there is that separation between me and the background. So I can, you know, I can't see why everyone feels you have to have full frame to get that nice professional look. Now, you guys and girls, be the judge, you tell me in the comments section whether you really do think that, you know, the full frame look is that much better and that much more worthwhile getting. The OM5 is a great camera. It's got no video record limit. Um, and it's a really nice camera to use and can create that professional look. And it does create that professional look. There's many professionals that we use the, uh, you know, Micro Four Third system. So um, I think it's a great system. And I think that it is throwing the background out of focus enough to create that professional look. So that's the OM5. Uh, and then the Sony A7C, which is the full frame camera, is creating, again, that depth between myself and the background, um, but is it you know that much better than what you're seeing on the OM5? So the OM5's got the smallest sensor out of these three, and then the A7C's got the largest sensor out of these three. Then in the middle is my Sony ZV-E10, which is between the two. So you you should find you know in theory the A7C should be the best. Then it should be the ZV-E10 because that's an APS-C sensor. And then um, the bottom should be, uh, or the worst, should be the OM5. But if you're looking at them independently uh, and you're watching a video that's shot on a Micro Four Thirds camera, um, are you really going to be, uh, you know, are you really going to tell and are you really going to be looking at it thinking, I don't like the look of that? I, I'm pretty sure you won't be thinking that at all. So, you know, don't be put off using Micro Four Thirds for doing your video work because it will produce great results. Obviously, if you can use a lens that has got a, a wider aperture, then you're going to create that effect even more. It's going to be even better. Uh, but again, that's the OM5 you're looking at now with the uh, Panasonic 25mm f1.7 lens, and then the Sony uh, ZV-E10 with a Sigma 30mm lens on that one, and then the uh, Sony A7C with its 50mm lens uh, on the Sony 50mm lens, f1.8 lens, on that particular one. I think my ZV-E10 is um, overexposed a wee bit. Um, won't know until I come to edit it, but there we go. I just wanted to, I really did want to just point this out. While I had all three cameras uh, set up, I thought I just wanted to show the uh, differences in the depth between the foreground and the background with these uh, three cameras. So there we go. Thanks very much for watching. I hope you found that useful. Um, if you did, please subscribe to my channel. Hit the like button if you like the content of my videos. Would really, really appreciate that. And stay tuned for more videos related to video photography, podcasting, so on and forth, so forth.
Cheers for now. Bye.